And this guy's stuck. Oh, yes. This Mimikyu is not having a good time anymore. Look at that damage rack up. Look at that damage rack up. <laughs> What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC Showdown Live. Once again, I am alone. I wish my friends were here, but I'm recording this like I, I didn't schedule a time to record a Showdown Live. But I had an idea the other day when I was on a call with uh, Atrix and I was like, oh, you know what? You know, it'd be really funny if I used uh, Garganical with Gothitelle just to be the most toxic team possible. So what I want to do today is I want to build the most annoying Garganical team conceivable. Even if it's like not good, I want to make sure that the game plan for this team is literally just to trap something in and not let it go. Like, so yeah, that's, that's today's goal. Whether or not it's a good team, the whole gist of it is we're using Garganical to make sure something dies very, very slowly. Let's get into that. If you guys enjoyed this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. And answer my comment question of the day, which is, do you think Garganical is broken and needs a nerf, or do you think it's actually just fine? I'm not sure where I stand on it. I think it's, like, probably fine, but we have to wait to see where the format goes. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon, become a YouTube member, or become a Twitch sub to get access to an extra video every week. That'll go up tomorrow, and it'll be a team builder for the team that I'm going to use and turn into a rental code. So yeah, uh, let's get into this. So obviously I have two spreads that I have to steal from previous teams. A, a classic thing that I am very famous for is stealing my own spreads. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm taking my Gothitel spread and I'm taking this Garganical spread that I know is fine. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this is because Garganical, it's, it's move Salt Care, right? It'll deal some initial damage and then after either four or eight turns, something will go down. The only way to clear that status effect is to switch out. So Gothitelle is just like, yeah, you're not gonna do that. You, you see you see what I'm doing here? Anyways, uh, I'm actually gonna change Gothitelle's typing or Terra typing to something that'll allow it to deal with Fluttermane a little bit better. And I think that's just gonna be, I wanna do normal, to be honest. I think normal isn't that bad, but I probably get more value out of um, fairy? I guess I don't resist anything it'll throw at me with fairy. Uh, let me think. Maybe normal is the play, because it means that, that Fluttermane has to hit me with Moonblast instead of super effective moves. Let's do normal. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, and we're Terra Poison Garganical. Something else I want to do is I want to run Toxic Spikes because it's also very annoying, uh, but Toxic Spikes users are few and far between in this game. Uh, obviously there are a couple of fun ones. I'm thinking that I could run Meowskarada with Spike since that's like a proven good Pokemon. But I think what I'm actually going to do is go with Iron Moth. Because Iron Moth I can run this set. Uh, Cork Drive. Oh, sorry. Booster Energy. Oh, and let's also slap on, um, Fluttermane now. Okay, so these guys have a really crazy combo. I'm going to do Choice Specs Fluttermane. And we're going to go with... Timid, Max Max, and Iron Moth, we're going to go with Timid, Max, uh, Max Speed, and then we're just going to get 177 special attack, so we get the booster energy to increase our speed instead of our special attack, and we'll just put the rest into, like, HP. We could also do defense, I guess, but I think HP is probably just the better use uh, for more overall bulk. And we're going to run this. We're going to run Acid Spray. We're going to run... What am I going to run? <laughs> Let me think. I think Acid Spray, Heat Wave, Toxic Spikes, and Giga Drain and make it like... Or not Giga Drain, uh, Energy Ball probably and make it Terra Grass. Yeah. And then this guy, we're just going to do like Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast... Um, uh, Mystical Fire. What's our last move gonna be? Probably Icy Wind isn't a bad option. Oh, I haven't put Shadow Ball on. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why I thought, I thought I put Shadow Ball on. Okay, so yeah, this will be our set. Uh, looks good. Looks, looks, looks kind of nasty, actually. So we have, like, a very scary offensive lead that, like, they just have to respect. But then we also have the, oh, what if they just go Galvatel Iron Moth and then do, like, Garganical stuff. So I like that. Okay. Um... I could also throw like a Zoomerill on here for a Parish option. 
But then I have double fairy. Let, let me let me think about that for a second. Also, I have to go answer the door. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And while I was gone, I had the idea of maybe I put like a Doug Trio on here. I, 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 you know, we don't have to stick with it, but like that's just a thought. Anyways, um, so I think that with these guys, I have a clear like just sort of like game plan. Like these are like four I would bring to a match. Now I'm actually gonna slap on an Iron Hands. We're gonna have a few Paradox Pokemon on this on this team. Because Iron Hands allows me to do this, and I'm going to steal a spread that I have right now. Um, Iron Hands has access to Volt Switch, which allows me to basically get like a revolving door of fake out between it and Gothitelle. Because a play that I can make is if Gothitelle is about to be KO'd, um, and these two are on the field at the same time, I can actually hard switch out Gothitelle, Volt Switch, and then get it right back in. And that's just like really cool. So yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, and maybe our last Pokemon is going to be... Who gets Parish Song? You Pokemon get Parish Song. Maybe I just do like Amoongus. I think Rocky Helmet Amoongus is fine. Uh, no, I don't know. I need a Ground Resist. The more I look at this, I, d I like straight up have like a huge Ground Weakness. Alright, um, a Grass type. Maybe not Amoongus. <laughs> Toad Squirrel? Yeah. What else resists ground? I guess flying's immune to it. Could do Gyarados. Gyarados doesn't seem that bad, but in a in a meta game with iron hands everywhere, that's a little bit risky. You know, uh Altaria gets Paris Song. That's an option. I want saying that's like consistent though, you know. Altaria's a little bit rough. It's, it's a little bit rough to say the least. Maybe I go Corviknight with Tailwind. That doesn't seem good either. Let me take a look at uh, <laughs> let me take a look at some turn results and just get like an idea of like what a good Pokemon uh, that resist could be there. Uh, Roaring Moon. I would have to Terra to get the most out of that. Um, I could do like just Hydreigon, and that gives me an immunity. That's an option. Huh. I'm actually pretty strongly considering Hydreigon. Or maybe even Meowskarada. Meowskarada also gives me the option of Trick Room and a second T-Spikes user. Hmm. What if I put Protect over Energy Ball on this guy? I'm kind of considering putting Protect over it, because actually, I, the more I look at it, I don't have that much protect on this team. Yeah, we'll do protect over energy ball, and while we won't have grass stab, um, we're still a fairly scary Pokemon, and the grass is mostly just to make sure we don't drop two ground type moves. Okay. And then, oh yeah, what was I looking at? Hydreigon? Hydreigon might be good. Let's look at Levitate Mons. It's gonna end up, it's gonna end up being a Rotom. I'm pretty sure. Uh... Okay, so Hydreigon gives me like a really powerful special attacker, but we're actually not really like starved for that. Rotom gives me another pivot Pokemon, which I think is actually quite good. And it lets me put a water type on the team. So let's do Rotom. Yeah, I think we're going to do Rotom. Um, I could just do the... Uh, <laughs> I could actually just do the thing I wanted to do with... um, What's his name? Why can't I think of the name? Uh, with with Doug Trio, but that's that's asking a little bit much of this team. Okay, so here let's go. Just Citrus Berry. Uh, we'll do Volt Switch, Will O Wisp, Hydro Pump, Terra Blast. Uh, then I'm still kind of lacking on Protect users because then I only have three. I guess it doesn't matter that much. We just make sure I outspeed Golden Go. Golden Go is like what, 84? Yeah. So 149, we need to hit 150. Do 150. And let's just max this out and give him some HP. Yeah. Uh I can't do wavy bars with this one. I guess I could do wavy bars, but his stats are high enough where his defensive stats are high enough where HP is a better investment, anyways. Okay. 
Let's hit the ladder with this. I don't think it's going to be that good, but it could be really fun. My goal is just I want to trap something in and be annoying, you know? Anyways, let's do it. BGC Series 2. All right. So we're facing Endeavor stuff, which arguably is far more annoying than I could ever be. But I do quite like having spikes. I do really like having spikes and iron hands. So I think I'm going to lead off with Gothitel uh, Iron Moth. Yeah, Gothitel Iron Moth. Uh, we'll bring Garganical. And I think Iron Hands is the play. Actually, Rotom is quite good here too. But then I only have one Fake Out user. And Hands just looks good in general. Okay. Amoongus is trapped in here. That's quite nice. Um, I could Terra Grass immediately, and I think that might be what I want to do here. Like, I fake out Lycanroc, and I think I immediately Terra Grass Toxic Spikes. And then I focus the rest of my resources on making sure Amoongus doesn't do anything. I could also fake out Amoongus and Terra Grass Toxic Spikes. I think I'm going to do that. And then I just get rid of Amoongus with a like Heat Wave. Oh, looks like I made the right call. Looks like I made the right call. The Rocky Helmet. But this is even better, because Psychic into Heat Wave, I think, should KO Amoongus. I could also try, like, Acid Spray into Psychic, but it's a little bit risky. I think Heat Wave's better, because then I also uh, possibly get a, a a burn on the Lycanroc. And they double protect. Interesting. All right, I think this will just barely do it. If not, like, next turn I get it anyways. And they're just going to forfeit. Incredible. All right, cool. <laughs> One win. All right. Oh, Yes, our battle will be legendary. Okay. <laughs> Another Iron Hands fake out Toxic Spikes user. Our battle will be legendary. All right, let's do this. Uh, the, the usual lead, because I think Iron Mod's actually just super good. Um, in the back here, I'm going to bring my own Garg. And I think I actually go Fluttermane over Iron Hands this game. Yeah. Because late game Fluttermane can go crazy. Oh, wait, am I Terra Fairy? I need to fix that if I'm not. Yeah, I have to be Terra Fairy. There it is. All right. Okay. Let's be frustrating. They're thinking. They're like, man, I wish I accepted those open team sheets. There's Garganico, there's Miascarada. Okay, I'm liking my odds here. I'm liking my odds here, because I can always just fake out and go for the T-Spikes now. And we see that I'm actually faster than Miascarada, so my Heat Wave next turn is actually quite safe. Um, and I'm going to go into... Actually, I think I just... Yeah, I'm going to go Fluttermain here. And we're going to go for a Heat Wave, and that should KO Miascarada. No, I go Garganical. I go Garganical, and then I'm able to like switch it out to get my stuff back. Let's go for Heat Wave. See if they Sucker Punch. Oh, okay. We go for the knockoff. They do it again. I lose my leftovers, which kind of sucks. Um, but I could just Terra Poison Recover here. And go for another Heat Wave. I'm going to do that. Okay, wide Guard again. That's fine. Alright. Uh, now I'm just going to go for Acid Spray Sulk here. Yeah. Or actually, I could Acid Spray Garganical and Salt Cure Miascarada here. And that makes the Flutter main endgame a lot better. Yeah, that's actually really good now. Because I get him Flutter main and I can go for a Dazzling Gleam and get a double KO. And I also want to go Gothitelle now. 
I probably won't get a double KO, but I'll be doing a ton to Garganical. I wish I was Terra Fairy. <laughs> And then I have Fake Out Pressure next turn, which is nice. Alright, looks like they stay in. I'm going to get rid of Meowskarada, get decent damage off on this guy. He's now weak to Psychic, so I just get a KO here. I can just get a KO. That's really nice. I send out the Mimikyu. Um, I'm going to Protect here. And get in Garganical. Awesome. Alright. Because now I just go for the Psychic onto Garganical. And a Salt Cure onto Mimikyu. Shadow Claw shouldn't KO me because of my Kaseeb Berry. Get the KO. Nice. And this guy's stuck. Oh, yes. This Mimikyu is not having a good time anymore. Look at that damage rack up. Look at that damage rack up. <laughs> oh, that was so much. I think it goes down, not next turn, but if I protect, I'm good. Yeah, and I have fake out for, for Meowskarada. I guess there's Golden Go. Golden Go can be kind of annoying. Uh, but Fluttermane endgame looks really solid. Oh, wait, no. Meowskarada is already... Already gone. I'm fine. I just protect here. Yeah, and Fluttermane endgame's good because they already Terra poisoned. So they have to be like Scarf to win. Alright. My play is always to go for another protect here. And. Yeah, I just try the double protect. I think that's the play. If one of these gets it, I'm good. Alright, I got it with Garg. That's a win. Nice. In comes Fluttermane. Uh, I go for my Spec Shadow Ball and Salt Cure and make it rain will never KO me. And yeah, that was just one shot. I was going to say, like, if they're like AV or something, they have a chance to win, but nah. All right, this is a fun one. This is actually a really fun team. Like, it's very position heavy, but it's like super frustrating for the opponents. You can tell. You can feel it. Okay. They have no fake out pressure. Let me think. I could just do Iron Moth Fluttermane, and that's like really good. Yeah, we'll do Iron Moth Fluttermane on lead, and then I'll do like Garganical Gothitelle in the back. I could also do Garganical Rotom or Iron Hands. Um, I haven't brought Rotom yet, but how good even is Rotom in this matchup? It's not that good. Let's do Iron Hands. I like the fake out. It's really good for just being able to, like, mess with people and be like, Oh, no, you don't get to attack this turn. Either protect or take Salt Cure. <laughs> or either protect and take less damage. Or, yeah. No, that's actually, like, a really good, like, thing to do. Because if, they, if they're if they Salt Cured and they know that they're going to get faked out, it's better, it's better for them to protect. Because otherwise they get faked out and take Salt Cure. So their boost strategy speed. Uh, luckily, Iron Moth deals like everything here fairly well. I think my play here is just gonna be. Honestly, I might just straight up attack. Yeah, I think my play here is just gonna be to go for like Heat Wave and Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam and hope that I like get a double KO because it's gonna be really close. Oh, I get a spit after drop. This guy's done. This guy's gone. No, I've lost my Fluttermane. I've lost my Fluttermane. Oh, no, we're fine. All right, this might get a double KO. Yeah, okay, sick. All right, now I get in the Iron Hands. I have Fake Out Pressure. All right, um... 
I think Organical just straight up wins. But I fake out here. And... I have to play this really carefully. I fake out here and I get in Garg. Alright. Hopefully they go for a Spore into... Alright, that's not the best Spore. But I stay in. I go for Salt Cure. As long as he's not set up, I should be fine. Alright, um... Do I burn a turn of sleep or do I go Flutter Man? I think I burn a turn of sleep. And I Salt Cure Scizor. A Rage Powder, that's fine. Oh, he is set up. Alright, this is gonna be a really close endgame. But I Volt Switch and I Protect. Alright. Definitely get him Flutter Main here. They're really setting up on me. I'm gonna get one shot by this thing. Also, he's leftovers, which isn't good for me. You know, let's just go for it. Can you wake up? That'd be really good. He's still asleep. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. He's still asleep. Okay. It's going to come down entirely to like double protects and stuff. Um, I'm going to get bullet punched, right? Yeah, I think I just lose. I have to attempt a Mystical Fire and Assault Cure. But one of these guys is getting bullet punched. Or not Mystical Fire, what am I saying? Moonblast. Or Shadow Ball is actually the strongest for the whole thing. Honestly, it'd be really poggers if they just... No, nope, they're gonna Rage Powder. Okay. Yep, GG. Okay, that's on me. That's on me. I definitely could have played that a little bit better. Alright, um... Did we face this guy already? No, we didn't. Okay, so... Fake out lead is off the table. It's pretty much off the table. That being said, Specs Fluttermane is very scary for them. Let me think. I also quite like Rotom lead because I can burn their fake out mod. Hmm. I think I lead off with Rotom and Iron Hands. Or maybe I just do like Rotom. Uh... I don't think the Toxic Spikes help me out this game. Let's do like Rotom, Flutter Main, Iron Hands, Garganical. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty good lead. Because I can just spec Staz and Gleam. And I'll Volt Switch out here. Actually, we'll Volt Switch on you. Specs D Gleam. I Terra Normal. Get decent damage. Volt Switch onto you. Gonna get in Garganical. You go for Rock Slide? Okay, well, that's Choice Banded damage if I've ever seen it. Uh, so I should be able to just attack here and get a KO. And if, yeah, and I, I salt cure here. But if they're like not choice, it looks like choice banded damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. They're gonna take a lot here. They're also definitely gonna wide guard next turn. So this turn I should be safe to just attack for Rigoraf with salt cure and KO it. And I'm gonna get in. I'm gonna get in my Rotom. Yep. There's Psychic. Get my Citrus Berry. Let's get this KO. Nice. 
Okay. There's the Deli Bird, which honestly isn't too big of a concern, because I think I just win with like Iron Hands Fluttermane. I'm just going to Salt Cure and Volt Switch. Yeah, because he's going to take a lot of damage here, and now I have Fake Out Pressure. Salt Cure. Yeah, and I go Iron Hands. Let's go for Protect, Fake Out. They protect themselves. Like I said, he's still taking a lot of damage here. Next turn, this Deli Bird goes down, so I can actually Volt Switch on it. And I think I want to go Garganical. No, because that makes the Earthquake endgame really easy for my opponent. I think I just Protect and Volt Switch. Yeah, failed. That's fine. Because I reset the Salt Cure. Get a KO. Their Garganical is still Salt Cured. And I win by value of Drain Punch, basically. Yeah, I Drain Punch here. And go for the Shadow Ball, not Shadow Ball, Moonblast. I double attack them. The extreme Speed, Drain Punch will KO. I'm going to get Salt Cured, but um, Drain Punch should offset this. Yeah. They might just be in range now. Did they already Terra? Yeah, they Terra normal. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was like, do I lose? I'm scared. They're going to recover. I'm going to recover. <laughs> And Drain Punch has more PP than that move, so I think I win. Yeah, there we go. Good game. Also, notably, not zero speed Garganical. Interesting. Let's do one more, and then I'm going to call it for today's vid. Don, Don okay. Hey, guess what? <laughs> guess what we're leading off with? That's right. That's right. It's Iron Hands Iron Moth. Uh, and we're going to go Garganical in the back and Gothitelle. Yeah, Fake Out's going to be super good. Like, the Fake Out cycling in this game is going to go crazy. All right. They go Dondozo, Glamora. That's fine. Um, I want to Fake Out Glamora. And immediately go, or actually no, I want to fake out Don Dozo and immediately go for Toxic Spikes. Go for Earth Power, does a decent amount. Let's go Gothitelle and Protect here. Yes. Power does a lot. Wave Crash does a decent amount. Now, I want to fake out and go into Iron Hands. I could also, go, yeah, I go Iron Hands. Fake out, go Iron Hands. Yawn happens. That's not that bad. Let's do this. Toxic Debris. Wave Crash. Get in my Iron Moth. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. Uh, I go for my Hypnosis, and now I can just go for Terrastal. I think Heat Wave's the right play. I don't think Acid Spray will KO Glamora. Spiky Shield? Okay. I thought they were Specs. I really thought they were specs. This is my hypnosis. Uh, I get to KO Clem I get to KO Glamora here, which is nice. Um, and I just go for a acid spray again. Or maybe I do just go for another hypnosis. I think I do. Watch me burn it. <laughs> Honestly, that'd be better. But I land the hypnosis. Nice. So we're both gonna be asleep, and I like my odds better.
Because whatever comes in is getting poisoned. Volcarona? Okay. Uh, for Volcarona... I definitely just go Garg. And I Acid Spray here. Or no. Are they gonna... I think they want to KO my Iron Moth more than anything. So I'm gonna go Garg. And try to wake up in Hypnosis. Yeah. And now I have the ability to uh, Salt Cure them. And try to protect. And Salt Cure should do enough where like the next one KOs. That's fine. I stay asleep. Salt Cure. Now they're forced to go Tatsugir. Oh, they have Dragonite. Interesting. I really didn't think they'd be Dragonite on this team. <laughs> Dang, I might lose now. Okay. My Toxic Spikes didn't do a thing this game. Can I beat this thing if I just Acid Spray it over and over again? Yeah, I think my play here is going to be to try to burn Dragonite with Heat Wave. Or maybe I just like Acid Spray Salt Cure and hope for the best. It also protect Salt Cure. No, Acid Spray Salt Cure is better in case I like manage to live in E speed. Air Flying? Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait, this can be bad. Wave Crash really hurts. Yeah, I lose. Okay. Watch, I'm gonna land this. I'm gonna land this double protect. It's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna land this double protect. It's gonna be crazy. I'm insane. I'm so good at this game. I'm totally winning this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. With my slower Garganical that can't recover. Yeah, good game, dude. Good game. Absolutely swept that, dude. All right. Thank you all for watching. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.